not need to be able to walk or see or hear or use big complicated words or do any of those things that you just can't do to be proud. I am the coordinator, a coordinator of the Cross Cultural Center, specifically in charge of the Pride Center. The event is uh, the film screening and then a discussion afterwards with Sins and Ballad. It's a group of performers who are queer and people of color and disabled who do work around uh, sexuality in all forms of bodies. Yeah, and really embracing your own body in a proud way. So, if you are not proud for who you are, for what you say, for how you look, if every time you stop to think of yourself, you do not see yourself glowing with golden light, do not therefore give up on yourself. My name is John Lee, and I'm an assistive technology specialist at the Disability Resource Center. I um, have a form of muscular dystrophy that I've had uh, while well, I was diagnosed when I was four years old. Until I started using the wheelchair, I was largely might be considered as someone who has an invisible disability. And the DRC, the Disability Resource Center, was one of the first centers to sign on and say, Let, you know, let's do this. And that is when I met John Lee. And we had a whole conversation afterwards where he was like, you know, a lot of the things you were talking about, the queer experience, that also relates a lot to the experience of different disabled communities. The idea was really to kind of emphasize the importance of intersectionality, where we have kind of the overlapping of different communities or different identities um, that are also oppressed or marginalized. We want to make sure that we're um, including and really kind of celebrating just this colorful tapestry of humanity.